The Executive MBA was started in 2007, predominantly as a B2B business. So initially, everybody on the program was from one of our founding companies. The program's now been running for 10 years, and every year we've seen more and more diversity come into the program. Now we have about 30% sponsored candidates, about 70% who are coming from what we call the B2C market. So that's basically people who are being attracted to ESMT by the, the pull of the brand rather than the link to the founding companies. I chose the ESMT Executive MBA because it has very good uh, reputation. So the class profile is actually very interesting. About 60% of our participants are from outside of Germany or are based outside Germany and about 40% are based in the country. So it's a more of a fly-in program given its modular structure. The local market in Berlin maybe is around 10% of our program, but we really pride ourselves on the diversity that the global reach has brought us. Of course, I love the quality of the courses themselves, but I think the, the particular added value of also having these classroom discussions is that everybody comes from different countries, different cultures, uh, different industries, and that brings a lot of experience, knowledge and um, insights that I wouldn't have uh, had anywhere else. So basically what I started noticing now uh, at my current job is that I already apply the knowledge I acquired during the program. So for example, literally uh, three weeks ago we had um, someone from our board visiting our office and talking to us about the strategy um, about the next steps in 2017. So the teaching method on the Executive MBA is very interesting because you've got so much experience in the classroom. Faculty are really there to facilitate a conversation. So it's not this typical lecturing from the front style that you might see on programs targeted more junior participants, but really it's a conversation between everybody based on their own experiences. So we use a case study method. We'll typically introduce a subject with some theory and then follow it up with a large interactive discussion. I really like the variety of the topics, going from marketing through economics and uh, organizational behavior, and particularly the focus on leadership and their attitudes towards these subjects. And my favorite, I think, was um, decision making, uh, which showed me my own personal biases as well as um, the ones that I face in my professional life. Our approach to leadership on the MBA is an interesting one. First of all, people are encouraged to become more self-aware, more understand the impact that their behavior might be having on their own workplace or on people they're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. So our leadership courses really look for self-reflection. Then we look at some contemporary leadership theories and how the behaviors of the individual might be interpreted in the work environment by other people. Then we look at, through the coaching, we look at seeing what gaps people might have in their behavior and then see what steps they might take in the risk-free environment of the EMBA. For my career, I think the impact is really going to be about expanding into new spaces. You know, so I'm looking now at everything I do in my current role as a business person rather than just a functional manager. And I'll have an opportunity now to really answer the ultimate question is, how is this making money for the company? How are we adding shareholder value? And when you look at it from that perspective, it really changes how you're going to approach your day to day. What I noticed um, during the first modules um, here in Berlin is that once we go through the sessions in terms of particular courses, it's actually not only limited to, let's say, microeconomics or to marketing or to operations. It's actually about people. It's about understanding what people think, need or want and understanding yourself better in order to make the best out of your job. So one of the things that attracts many people to our program is the whole approach we have to coaching and mentoring. So everybody gets access to uh, individual coaching throughout the program and we also train people to become coaches themselves. So we use peer coaching a lot and then people are actually leaving the program much better equipped to coach their own teams when they get back to their businesses. Yeah, I'd say from a balance standpoint, because what it does is it forces you when you have this intense curriculum, uh, not just while you're here, but also the weeks in between class, it really forces you to manage time extremely effectively. And what you do when you do that is you really, I'd say, focus on the key moments. And for me, that's about maximizing my time with my family, assuring I'm doing my job at work, and also supporting my study group uh, and my studies as best possible. So how much uh, time I dedicate to the master's degree? I have to say it's more on the weekends and I almost spend every weekend doing four to six hours at least 
and then try to do the reading in the evening. So when you think about personal evolution, uh, I would say that it's still ongoing. I can tell you what I've learned so far is that you have to have a tremendous amount of not just balance but perspective and really understand why you're doing this. And if you can keep that in vision, uh, it really helps when you start talking about the right time with your family, the right time with your company, and the right try time trying to build something here in the Executive MBA program. Thank <laughs> you.